You are now between 30 and 31 weeks pregnant. Your baby is now 38 inches long and weighs 1300 grams. It is getting tighter in your belly. Maybe your baby is already nicely with his head down, but it could also be that he is in a breach. Don't worry, your baby has at least another two weeks the space to the other way around in the uterus to nest. Feel the occasional regularly tapping in your belly? Then your child has the hiccups. Sometimes you can see your belly even move. The hiccups arises because of the amniotic fluid he drinks. As his stomach is full, the diaphragm in a reflex stimulated and pulls it together. That hiccup can be equally persist, but goes spontaneously and is not harmful. Around this time, the upper edge of your uterus to your navel and the breast bin. The uterus can then print a bit against your ribs and that gives every now and then a stuffy feeling. If your baby around the 36th week descends, is coming more space and you get pretty more air. In this stage of pregnancy can you be so busy with your pregnancy and all you need to arrange before the baby is there, that your relationship there's sometimes when loading. Maybe you feel you already have more mom and dad than partners. That can lead to tensions. Also try to make time for each other and keep talking to each other about feelings and expectations. You will soon want to breastfeed. Breastfeeding is something natural, but you have to be some learning. To you to prepare well, you can attend a breastfeeding meeting. Just so you know what you can expect soon. For example, that you have lost a lot of time in the beginning with about 8 per day feeding, power supplies of about 45 minutes to an hour including a peasant and changing. During the meeting you will get tips and information about breastfeeding. For example, how do you explain to your baby? And where do you look for if you're unsure whether your baby receives enough? Before you go like, can you make a birth plan? On the basis of a questionnaire puts you at a glance what you can and would not want during your labor and delivery. Useful for yourself and the obstetrician who accompanies you. During childbirth are you sometimes unable to clarify what you do or don't like? By making such a plan you can think about where you want to give birth at home or in hospital, how, sitting, lying down, in bath, in bed, who may be or your pain management want and what form, what you want your partner does, who the umbilical cord cutting tactically, what happens with the placenta and so on. You get a better picture of how childbirth can expire and what choices can make you and your partner. Don't forget that having a baby always different than you had in your birth plan figured out. Would you like next to your midwife or gynecologist and your partner still have other people in childbirth? For example, your sister, a friend or your mother? You can also use a professional birthing coach 